All right, thank you. Yes, Melissa and Lee have joined us from Youth Power 365. New name, but not a new concept. We're going to learn a little bit about this organization and how they serve youth here in Eagle County. So congrats on a new branding name, and you guys are just getting the word out in the last several weeks. We are, and um, we're just going to keep telling everybody. Yes. And we're going to charge people if they don't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I'll bring my dollars. $35. Yeah, so yeah, it's $35. Office, so, um, yeah, with, with Youth Power 365, we've launched it on the uh, 17th of February, and it really is embodying what we do. So the youth stays from our old heritage, yeah. um, you know, and who we serve. And then power is because all of our programs are really about empowering kids and families. And then 365 is the aspiration that we can serve every child every day in Eagle County. Yeah, and this is kind of the educational arm of the Vail Valley Foundation. So mm -hmm. you've got this, this great organization that's yeah. backing you up, but you're able to really delve into the schools and identify areas that need some help. And the reach has just been amazing how you've grown yeah. in the last several years. Yeah, this uh, this year we've got, a, I think it's the eighth year of our annual gala this year. We're up to over 4,000 kids. Uh, we're hoping to add at least 1,500 to 2,000 kids in the next two years um, and looking to really be a model for other communities uh, by 2018. So we've got some uh, big goals that we want to hit. So Youth Power, the change of the name is really a change in attitude to Let's serve every kid in Eagle County. Definitely. That's where we're headed. And it was out of the 15 or so programs that you have, Power Hour has been one of them, yeah. Dollars for Scholars. Every time we come on, we try and feature something. So okay. yeah, you we were the Girl Power. Like, yeah, last week we were Girl Power. This week we're Power Hours, which all goes with Power Name. And uh, this is our after school and summer enrichment programming. And that's really great. It's a wonderful way because some kids, you know, they don't want to just go home after school if their parents aren't there. This keeps them uh, engaged in school and school work and other activities that they do at the school. So it's mm -hmm. really we're, nice. We're very lucky in Eagle County that, uh, firstly, that kids have a safe place to go after school, mm -hmm. or at least some do. We still have a, a few waiting lists mm -hmm. and a few grades not open. We like to serve all the kids and we like to give them all uh, a great place to be. So as I said before, that's really where we're, we're aiming to be with Youth Power 365. Okay, and we'll and get that. serve all sorts of ages. It's just yeah, th neat. that's a picture from the Magic Bus. Um, we do cradle to college programming, and what makes us unique is we are, so far, as, as, as far as we can tell, and we had a company come in um, study us, that we're the only nonprofit that actually does direct services in all of our programs. So other nonprofits or community foundations may say they do cradle to college, but they might um, use other yeah, organizations and they might outsource it. But we're the only ones that have programming for our kids from just almost newborn all the way up through college and career. Okay. And then just last week we were talking to you in advance of the Girl Power fashion show, and I went. It was awesome. I saw you there. <laughs> it was yeah. great, and uh, great job once again. And you teamed up with local and regional stores, local models, yeah. and just really a fun way to give us some spring it's hope and inspiration show. for fashion, but to raise money for Girl Power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that program is really about empowering young women physically, emotionally, and mentally. Um, we do a lot of physical activities. They do paddleboard yoga. Um, we have a program in school at Eagle Valley High School and they go and we do all sorts of different things to help them build their self-esteem and their self-confidence. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was one of the greatest events, I think, and the, the actual the buzz after it uh, because it moved to an apres event. So with the spring weather helped it I a little. Know. And we had over 300 people there. Everybody was very generous. Everybody was shopping until they dropped, yes, I think. Yes, uh, we you were. Included. I was buying yeah. stuff too. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. You have so many creative ways to fundraise. Like you mentioned, your gala coming up this summer. Yeah, and, and talking about spring, we're getting ready to do some funding to get some programming going for summer. Okay. So we wanted to talk a little bit about that if we have any time left. Oh, we run out of time. <laughs> okay, we need to stay tuned for the next interview, but you can also look at their website as well. It is new. It is Youth Power 365, just the numbers, 365.org, to find out more details about what they'll be doing this summer as well. We'll be right back.